guys so for today's video i don't know what it's going to be called so let's just jump into it but it's a makeup tutorial <laughs> so i've already used the benefit brow valve conditioning primer so i'm just going to go in with the anastasia brow wiz in the color taupe just going to brush through the eyebrows and then just go ahead and fill in with the pencil so when i fill in my eyebrows i like to draw an underneath line brush the eyebrows down and then draw a top line in and then just go in keep brushing them filling them in brushing them up brushing them sideways so you can make sure all the hair is nicely filled in then i like to go in with the benefit give me brow in the shade one and just brush that through the front of the brows and then take whatever's left and just sort of run it through the rest of it then i'm going to take some benefit high brow and just put that underneath the brow bone and just blend it out with a spectrum a12 then for eyeshadow primer today, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I'm going to start off with a little bit of Sourced and Low Blow on a Spectrum B06. Put that in the crease. Then to further blend it out, I'm going to take the Crown Brush Duo Fiber Blending Brush and just use little circles just to blend that out it's going to take a little bit of ounce in the palette and just put that on the brow bone as well to add a little bit more highlight so on a spectrum a07 i'm going to take he devil which is this nice red shade and i'm going to put that directly in the crease then taking our crown brush we're going to do exactly the same thing nice buffing motions little circles i'm going to take it sort of on the corners as well and like on the inner corner just to give it this really nice rounded effect then on a spectrum a13 i'm going to take that same he devil shade which i'm going to concentrate it more into the crease to really define it the same thing as well packing a little bit on the inner corner a little bit on the outer corner make sure to blend as well then on a crown brush c529 i'm going to take a bit of cayenne and in wiggle just mix those together and really pack that on the outer corner take it around into the crease a little bit I don't want too much there a little bit on the inner corner as well just want to blend it as well now we're going to cut the crease using the Rimmel Anti-Age the Eraser Eye. And we're going to pack that on the Spectrum A16. So what I like to do is I like to place it down, look up, and then that's where I should cut my crease. I'm only cutting it in the middle because I want it to be like a halo eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Scorched on the... Spectrum A16, just wipe off the concealer on the back of my hand. So I'm going to go back in with the itty bitty crown brush and just sort of add a bit more Ibn Fuego and Cayenne and just sort of blend that out with the middle shade that we packed on. Blend it out again with the crown brush. So back onto the Spectrum A13, I'm going to take a little bit of He Devil and put that above the crease brighten it up a little bit i'm going to take a little bit of lumber take it on my finger and just pack it on the center so i'm just going to take a bubby wipe and just clean up any mess we have always going with eyes first it's just my preference some people don't like to do that but even if i'm doing like the most basic basic Ask eyeshadow or always going with eyeshadow first. So I'm going to take the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer and I have eyeshadow all over my hands. Do not want you on my face, thank you. I'm just going to put that on the screen. First of all, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline uh, Eraser Eye Concealer that we used earlier to cut the crease. I'm going to take that on parts of the eyes I used to like doing this first and then I stopped and then now I'm going back to it 
to feel like it looks better rather than foundation than this. So I'm just going to put that on. Blending that out with the Kat Von D uh, concealer brush. So next we're going to take the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundations in Golden and Porcelain because I have a self tanner on and Golden's too, too tanned. So I'm going to mix these. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. A little bit of porcelain. And take a beauty blender and just blend it out. I'm just going to go back into the concealer, bridge the nose, cupid side, dot the chin, and then a little bit on the forehead. And I'm going to take the hourglass bow retouching fluid and just apply it a little bit the inner corners of my eye. A little dot on the nose, on the tip of the nose. Then I'm going to take the Kat Von D concealer brush. Just pat that out. I think light's too dark, even with a self tanner for the eraser eye concealer from Maybelline. I think they do lighter shades now, I might have to pick them up. Hourglass stuff, I'm just gonna pat it out on my finger. To set the under eyes, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder in Dim Light with the Crown Brush D530. Just take the beauty blender underneath the eyes and pack it on. Take a little bit more, just take that on the nose, forehead, cheese and chin, and we put the other bit of concealer. Then for contour today, I'm going to take the Rimmel Instant Duro Contour Stick in light. Take the contour shade. Take a little bit on the nose, the forehead and the cheeks. Just going to blend that out with a crown brush C436. Then for highlight, I am going to take the highlighty side from the stick, rub that on the face. Take this everywhere because it is so like sheer and just so beautiful that it's nothing too much. Just adds this nice little bit of glow that you can sort of really put it all over the face to really highlight it. Pat that out with my finger as well. Well, I'm going to recommend rubbing it all over your face because you don't want to be like shiny, shiny, but you know, sort of like on the forehead, cheekbones, nose, lip, chin. Really go ham with this stuff. Then to set the rest of the face, I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum C07. Just pack it on the brush. The highlighter today. We're going to take the Sleek Highlighting Palette. We're going to take this bottom orange shade. Pack that on higher points. I forgot how good this palette was. Take a little bit of this yellow shade as well. Just sort of really focus that on the front parts. Just add a little bit more glowy glow glow. Then I'm going to go into the Benefit Cheek Bum Palette and take Hula. I don't sell this palette anymore, but you can get all of these products in here. I'm going to take that on the Spectrum C04. Tap off the excess. Tap off a bit on the back of the hand. And just bronze up the skin. Then for blush, I'm going to take the Rockature blush from the palette. On a Kat Von D number 2 brush. Tap off the excess. Same thing, put it on the back of the hand, just because... This brush picks up a lot of product. I'm going to rosy up the apples of the cheeks and then dust like a little bit on the nose. So moving back onto the eyes, we're going to go back into the Naked Heat palette. I'm going to take a little bit of Cayenne and Fuego on that little bitty crown brush. And just smoke that on this outer corner and then the inner corner. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Scorched on the Spectrum A16 and just put that right in the centre of the eye and on a Spectrum A16 I'm going to take a little bit of Scorched and Low Blow and just smoke that out. Did I say A16 brush? I meant B06. Now I'm just going to take some Eau de Cate All Night Setting Spray. I do this all the time over my eye when I'm like near, just almost finished spraying it. 
from my pen. For the lashes and mascara, I'm going to take the Revlon mascara and then the Adele Wispies. So I'm going to apply those off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so the lashes are on and now we're moving on to lips. So I'm going to take the Nip and Fab liquid lipsticks in Toffee and Candy. So I'm going to take Toffee first, apply that all over their lips. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Candy, just oh, on the centre of the lip. And this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Yeah, on the palette. Still got hair everywhere, it's like falling out. Oh, there's a big bit of eye gunk there. How long has that been there for? Yeah, P. My regina is here. Good other bitches. <laughs> this is my good eye. This is my, like, what is it? Like, out of date bread eye. We don't like this eye. We like the good in date bread eye. <laughs> Noise. I have them with my beauty blender. I feel like I should be coming out of a clam. <laughs> then I'm going to take a bit of candy, candy. I can move, move, walk.